Next, we're going to be creating threads in DesignSpot Mechanical. This could be used to create a lid on your enclosure to screw the lid down. To begin creating a thread in DesignSpot Mechanical, we're going to switch to Plan View and draw a circle. Starting from the center of your screen, I'm going to click once, then enter the dimensions of 12 and hit enter. For the inner part of our circle, we are going to create another circle with a diameter of four. So in total, you have two circles, one inside the other. Now we need to click home and select 3D mode. This now enables us to use the pull tool to raise the outer part of our circle. By clicking and dragging, I will now hit my space bar and enter the dimensions of 20. This now has created a hollow part inside our shape, which we can put a thread inside. So what I'm going to do now is add an annotation plane into the center of our object. This plane will allow us to create this view, which has chopped the item in half, which allows us to actually create our thread. So to start, we're going to create a circle on this edge here. So I'm going to click once and then drag out and enter the dimensions of 2.04. And then another circle just on this edge. Hit my space bar and dimensions of 1.02. So you should have two circles. Now we're going to get the line tool and actually create a triangle out of these circles. Like so. Once that has been done, we can delete the two circles and be left with a triangle. So what we can now do is select the pull tool, select the face of your triangle and click the revolve tool. This is found under the pull selection menu on the left hand side. So revolve and there's an options panel on the bottom left hand corner. I'm going to click cut because we'd like to cut away and we'd like to cut along the spine of the shape. So what we need to do is select Revolve Helix and then the pitch, I'm going to leave at one millimeters for this thread and the height of minus 22. So I'm now going to hit enter. And what this has done has revolved the triangle around the inside of our object to create a thread. If I can now click the plane, you can see the thread in more detail.